Hi Scorpio, welcome, welcome back. This is a reading for Scorpio Sun, Moon and Rising. You might find though that this resonates more if Scorpio is your Moon or your Rising sign. Okay, Queen of Swords reversed. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, you know, Scorpio, it looks to me like you're kind of angry about something, actually, but you're keeping it to yourself for now. You might be trying to transmute, trying to release this energy rather than having a go at somebody who actually you would like to tell off. Yeah, Page of Swords reversed. If I'm honest, I don't think trying to breathe through this and relax through this is going to work. I think you might need to speak this, whether you're saying it to this person directly, maybe... Um, <clears throat> I don't know how else you could do it. You can't really talk about them to someone else. Um, I mean, you could, yeah, you could. You could talk to a friend, you could talk to someone, um, a family member, even someone in a professional context, if that's appropriate for, situ for your situation and you feel like that would help. Um, but I do think you need to express this because it feels like there's kind of a frustration at minimum, maybe even anger here. And when we have a feeling that's kind of as active and intense as something like anger often you know it doesn't just go away it's sort of bubbling around so i feel like you need to get this off your chest in whichever way you can <clears throat> what i was what i felt actually when i said you can't really talk to someone else what i meant is as in let's say it's someone in a friend group or um it's someone in a romantic sense um and you go to a friend to talk about them and you kind of all know each other, it might come across as basically just gossiping about them, especially if this other person knows whoever you're talking about, it might not be the most productive. So I don't know if you've been trying to vent and release through speaking to someone and it's turned into a gossiping session. I feel like spirit saying that isn't actually helping you. Um, you need to speak to someone who, maybe someone who can listen and not really get involved with opinions either way because they don't know this other person or someone who um if it's in a professional context someone who can give you some tools or strategies or really good advice or something like that um but i do think you need to get this out seven of pentacles okay so yeah if you've been holding on to this for a while it's almost like the feelings are just growing and, and kind of festering for some of you, I feel maybe you're dealing with an Aries or someone who has Aries in their chart or someone who can come across as maybe dominant or fiery or even stubborn at times. I'm thinking of like um, an Aries in lower vibration. Um, okay, we've got the High Priestess in the reverse. So your intuition is trying to tell you something. Let's see what it's trying to tell you. We have Pisces energy here with this High Priestess. Three of Pentacles reversed. Yeah, something about you're you're looking to the wrong people, or um, and it's not to say these people aren't helpful generally or they're bad or anything, but I think they're not the most helpful in this particular situation. Um, or if you're holding on to someone and they're doing your head in, and in order to keep things moving smoothly with this person, you feel that you have to keep silent all the time. I think Spirit's saying that's not right. That's not healthy you might want to consider letting this situation go or letting this person go. I'm noticing we have two fours next to each other, a card or foundation, sorry, a number of foundations and stability within foundations. So for some of you, if you are in a foundation with someone and it could be in a work sense even, it might be best to try and distance yourself from this person as much as possible. Um, if it's a relationship, I think maybe you've been considering that it might be time to walk away anyway. Um, yeah, let's say it's work, you know, maybe try to not interact with this person um, as much as possible, if that's possible for you. Because I feel you're doing a lot of silencing yourself in order to keep the peace, and it might be for other people's benefit as well as yours, um, or instead of yours, actually. Oh, look, there's that two of pentacles, it's back. So this could be you making a decision. We've got the hermit in reverse, Virgo. I kind of think your ultimate final decision here needs to come from within. So initially talking to someone, getting out your frustration, expressing what you need to say, um, whether it's to whoever's involved here or someone else, then feeling clearer to make a decision. And that will come from 
within. Let's see, two of pentacles. Eight of pentacles reversed. So you might be thinking, do I give up? Do I stop working on this? The magician reversed, Gemini. Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius, moving on into something better. Yes, um, I feel that there is something better out there for you. Um, with the Magician reversed, you might feel like you have to fake a lot of who you are with this person in this situation or um, fake your interactions. You can't be authentic, you can't speak your truth. You might also feel like this situation is keeping you limited in some way. Um, and I do feel spirit saying, yeah, you will find more happiness, you will find um, more joy, more luck, actually, um, moving forward into something else. Um, and, it, you know, you don't have to move straight into something else. You can just move forward away from this situation. Um, what did I want to say? Something else. Oh, of course, if this isn't you, you know, and you're, wor um, I almost said worried. Okay, you might be worried, but, you know, wondering about somebody else, romantic or otherwise, this could be what they are experiencing. But we did see that death card at the start, which is Scorpio energy. Okay, let's see with a different deck what else we get through here. Okay, what other messages do we have for Scorpio, please? Ah, look, see, there's that Four of Wands, that's stability. We have the Six of Wands. Queen of Swords, and we have the Wheel of Fortune reversed. Yeah, I think this is, now we're seeing the energy of this other person. So this really honestly looks to me like a relationship um it could be work relationship but it would be a very close relationship i think it's probably a romantic relationship in the home whether it's between you and a partner a spouse or if you're asking about someone and you know they are in a relationship with somebody else this could be the behind the scenes of what they're dealing with it seems to me that, that if it's you your partner here or if it's someone else their partner is kind of ruling uh the roost here um they're very concerned with how things look. They're concerned with having things done their way. They don't really care about um, how you're feeling or if it's another person, your person, they don't care how that person is feeling. Um, I'm, hearing, I'm hearing this person runs a tight ship and I don't think that's necessarily like in a successful, helpful way. I think it's more, we do it my way or there's gonna be a problem. But look how the Wheel of Fortune's reversed. It doesn't leave room for progress, for forward movement, and it might feel like things have become stuck and stagnant. Okay, we've got the Nine of Swords reversed, the world. We have Temperance reversed, Sagittarius there. Oh, double said, well, triple actually, three Sagittarius cards. And then we have the Eight of Cups. Let me see. The Devil, not surprised. Capricorn there, and we have the Moon Reverse with Pisces. Wow. Okay. If this is you and this is your situation, I feel you may have tried to walk away and this person used emotional manipulation, you know, oh, I'm, I can't cope, I can't move on without you, I can't do anything, I can't think, I can't live, you know, I can't exist, you have to come back, and that pulled you back in. Um, if you haven't left and you try to leave, I think this is a tactic they're going to use, and you're going to have to be very, very strong with the devil coming out to resist. Um, really see through the illusion, because this person is incredibly capable, so if they're telling you, I can't even get out of bed, I can't brush my teeth, you have to come home, they know what they're doing, they're trying to manipulate you into coming back. Now, if this isn't your situation, if this is someone you're interested in, then the same applies. If they tried to leave, um, or rather they did leave, this Queen of Swords figure, whether this, this person is an air sign or not, has, it seems, um, pulled them back in. If your person here tries to leave, if they haven't even tried yet, if they think, okay, I'm gonna go for it, I think this is something that could play out. This other person could try and um yeah manip manipulate them to come back but you see with with the devil it's all about control
And normally with the devil card, you know, we have a figure that's that's the devil, and then we have two people, whatever, animals. In this case, it's a bird. In this depiction, we just have one. So I feel that if it's you in this situation, you're feeling very, very lonely and very outnumbered, even if it's just this one other person, but very much controlled. If this is someone you are interested in asking about, um, they may feel that this other person has way more influence than they do. I mean, look at the size, look at the size of these birds compared to one another. Let me have a bit more of a look. What kind of hold does this other person have apart from this, you know, emotional manipulation? I think they might be playing on either your guilt or this person's guilt. Um, knowing that you or this person, whichever way it's working for you, is a good person or has a big heart. Ten of Wands. Six of Cups. Knight of Swords reversed. Yeah. So this Queen of Swords figure, if it's you, they're playing on the fact that you are used to perhaps shouldering um, burdens, doing a lot, care caring for a lot of people, carrying a lot, not expecting much back. So if they bring up, for example, oh, well, you're not taking care of your responsibilities, it might um, have an effect. You might feel guilty. You might think, yes, actually, that's the role I need to slip back into. With the Six of Cups, I feel this big hearted energy, this energy to nurture, to care. Um, for some of you, this could have been a very, very long connection here. So they bring up past memories and it makes you think about when perhaps it was a happier situation and you think, well, I don't want to have wasted all of these years, all of this time. And also the fact that they feel like you won't say anything back. You won't argue back. You won't speak um, speak up here, that you, you do keep the peace. So that tells me on some level this person knows that you are biting your tongue. You are suffering in silence and they seem to be okay with that as long as they get to maintain their stability. They get to keep things looking okay. So that is absolutely unacceptable. Now, if this isn't you, if it's your person, again, same applies. They are with someone who seems not to care about them and that they're suffering in silence, but just cares that they keep getting what they want. Um, this sort of energy makes me re <laughs> really angry, really angry. Um, ooh, yeah. I don't know. This sort of a, an energy is really, it's, it's like it taps into something in me that triggers me and makes me want to go in there and be like, oh, really? Do you want to fight? Okay. <laughs> ooh, anyway, right. But Scorpio, I'm going to leave this here. So what I would say is... Um, if this is you, you will know because you'll have been feeling the impulse to separate yourself from this situation for some time. Um, I would say the first step is getting support from people who can confirm what you've been feeling, thinking, give you a sense of like, you know, um, I am right here actually, I do deserve better, give you that courage, give you that strength. Maybe even in a practical sense, um, you know, a friend, a family member or someone you know you can go to after you've left, especially if you're leaving a home behind or something, who can you stay with? Get all of that prepared so everything is as ready as possible. Um, if this is if this is someone you're dealing with, I mean, I guess all we can do is hope that they will will step up, say something, and and leave this person because this person is a bully, and I do not like bullies. Mm, okay. I will leave this here. So I almost hope this hasn't resonated with you, Scorpio, but if it has, you know, I hope it has helped and um, I will see you soon. Bye.